Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily monitor of irrigation water use using Google Earth Engine and also how we can easily monitor the monthly water balance using Google Earth Engine. So it's very important topic for agriculture sector to monitor irrigation water, how much water we need. Okay, so these type of things today I will try to discuss overall concept and also talk about that practical so first of all water balance so water balance is an accounting of the input and output of water the water balance of place whether it can be agricultural field or watershed or containment or any other place where water is available the major input of water is from precipitation and output is evapotranspiration so here you can see about the equation precipitation minus evapotranspiration then we can easily find out that water is porous so in this time here you can see about the figure here we can find out the evapotranspiration first of all precipitation then water is fall down in the earth surface and here the different types of process it can be surface runoff or different types of process after doing these things when sun hit on the water surface it will be evaporated and make the cloud and after cloud it will be also make the hydrological process and make the precipitation so it's the one kind of hydrological cycle so it's very important for that water balance and today we talk about that how we can easily monitor the water balance and also identify how much water need for agricultural land so in this time here you can see about the very important component mainly precipitation precipitation is the major input of water is from the sky so it's one kind of can be rain snow and this type of liquid from or gases from it can be a different types of form of precipitation of rain snow or other so basically in the very uh, dry location water can be supplied by dew or air or fog as well as also evapotranspiration so basically it, it's one kind of major output of water so here you can see evapotranspiration is the combined transfer of water into the air by the evaporation and the transpiration so transpiration is one kind of process by uh, water by trees and actual evapotranspiration is the amount of water delivered to the air from the these two process and actual evaporation is the out of water that is depend on moisture availability temperature and humidity and think of actual evaporation is the water use and then water that is the actual evaporating and the transpiring given the environmental condition of a place. So, and also water potential evapotranspiration is very important due to that water need. And it could be water needed for the evaporation and the transpiration given the local environment condition. And soil moisture storage is very important, refers to the amount of water held in the soil at any particular time. The amount of water in the soil depends on the soil properties like soil texture, organic matter, and content. The maximum amount of water that uh, soil can hold is called the field capacity. So today's session, we try to discuss about that how we can easily monitor the water balance, mainly monthly water balance, and also monitor of irrigation water use using Google Earth Engine platform. So here you can see this is the equation about that. So precipitation equal to uh, evapotranspiration add with the surface runoff and also discharge of water, delis. It's indicating the discharge of water. Precipitation equal we can get all of those things mainly the summation of runoff, surface runoff, and evapotranspiration and water discharge. So in this time we can easily find out the precipitation minus evapotranspiration. Then we can easily find out that water discharge on the surface. So let's go try to use this formula. Basically, this is the formula you can see precipitation subtract with evapotranspiration then we can easily get that surface runoff and also get the discharge of water so these things is the equal so it's called the water balance okay so water balance this is the formula you can see precipitation subtract with evapotranspiration equal to run surface runoff addition with water storage so in this time we are just use this formula and then we try to find out the water balance so for that, first of all, we need the precipitation. Mainly, we can calculate the precipitation monthly as well as also calculate the evapotranspiration. 
So for the precipitation, you can easily use the different types of satellite images. It can be chirp satellite image or TRMM satellite image. Or if you want, you can also use the ground truth uh, precipitation data. No problem. So then evapotranspiration, you can also use the ev evapotranspiration. So I will show you the one by one for all of in my code. Then you can easily get all of this idea. So here you can see this is the result about that. So first of all, we have to calculate the monthly precipita uh, precipitation. Okay. For monthly precipitation calculated, you can see it show about the monthly precipitation as well as we also calculate about that monthly evapotranspiration. Okay. So we can get the monthly evapotranspiration and further from here, we can calculate that water balance. So here you can see we can get the monthly water balance about that. Okay. So for each month, how much water is balance we can get from this chart. So here you can see about the code. So first of all, in this time, we calculate the monthly precipitation. For the monthly precipitation, first of all, we define our study area. And then further, we just simply start date and in date, we just make a time frame. And further here, I use the charts painted data set. Okay. In this time, I use the chart painted data set to make the monthly precipitation data. And further, we are also make the monthly time tree chart of that uh, data set. And do for the same for the evapotranspiration. For the evapotranspiration, we also use the MODIS evapotranspiration data set. This data will be convert into monthly and create the monthly time series chart of evapotranspiration. And further, we are just calculating this equation here. You can see for water balance. This equation is that evapotranspiration precipitation subtract with evapotranspiration. Okay. Then we can find out the water balance or water discharge and also surface runoff. So this is the water, water we can get from, okay. So you can simply subtract precipitation result, subtract with evapotranspiration result. Then we can get the result for water balance. So here you can get this type of things here you can see. So here you can check about the result of each month, what the water we can get from here you can see. Suppose you can see June, we can get that uh, 953.63 millimeter water will be balanced for this study area. So is here is year of all of month we can easily find out that water balance mainly storage of water so this water we can easily calculate from here you can, you can also download the chart as a csv file okay and sometimes you also get this type of negative value it's indicating about that surplus of evapotranspiration okay so you can easily download from here and also you can see about all of map we can easily get from here so this map is indicating this type of uh, things here you can see for that uh, this type of color, basically this type of, you can see about the sequence about that. So this type of color identify about that low water balance and this type of color identify about that high water balance. So if the sequentially high, one by one, one by one, one by one, so we can easily get, we can easily idea about that where the place is the uh, maximum water balance and where the place is the minimum water balance we can easily get from here. And we can easily uh, use it for the different types of agricultural land to estimate it how much water we need for a agricultural production. So it's very important about that. Also, you can see about the other maps such as uh, it's show about the uh, monthly evapotranspiration and also monthly precipitation map we can easily get from here. And further, we calculate about that water balance map as well as we also calculate about that uh, time series chart of water balance for the uh, each month of each year. Okay. So basically, this is the process how we can easily estimate the water balance. And it's very important for an agricultural sector to uh, monitor how much irrigation of water. Okay. So these type of things you can easily apply and you can easily get the result. Okay. So if you have any question on it, you can simply contact in my uh, WhatsApp number or to contact it's my email. And I also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program. So basically, this class will be start from the 19th April. So basically, it's one kind of basic or beginner's online training program for the uh, beginners to advanced level total seven days online training program in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on google Earth engine and if you have no knowledge about the coding such as python or javascript or if you have no knowledge about the google Earth engine don't worry about that you can easily cover all of those things from this online training program so here you can see all of those things for the course content first day second day third day fourth day fifth day sixth day and seventh day and I already added all of those things in the video description. You can simply check. And when you join this online training program, you also get some benefits, such as after submitting all of those assignments, you can get the e-certificate. You can get the, all of those materials, such as slide, PDF. You can get all of those practice code, as well as you also get the recorded class.
suppose when you miss any live training session, then you can easily cover using the recorded class. And you also get the lifetime teaching support. It's very important as a beginner. So when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problem. So that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support. When you face any problem regarding any issue about the Google Earth Engine or remote sensing, you can easily get the free support lifetime. So if you want to join this online training program, don't waste your time. You can simply contact in this WhatsApp number and also contact with this email and then book your other seat and then join in our Google Classroom and also join in our WhatsApp group. So now only seven seats are available to get the 50% discount. So as soon as possible, you can simply contact and then book your seat. So today is no more. Thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.